Joseph V Trademark TV here, back again for another video. Right? We got to all humanity of life itself, haven't we? We have. Stutzy Trademark TV feels very strongly about this. We lost all, all, all humanity, reality of life, of life itself, life in general, right? We, we're in virtual worlds now, right? Where we'll be closer to the criminals and paedophiles. We'll be in their world, right? We'll be closer to them, right? Why are we doing this? Why do we do this? We shouldn't be closer to the social mi the criminals. Why are we close to them, right? More closer to the sex offenders when we go virtual reality on you on Facebook, right? That's stupid, that is. I wouldn't do that if I was you. I wouldn't bother. We shouldn't be close, right, to sex offenders, right? We're not allowed to do this. Why? Right? Why are we doing it? We're doing it to be stupid, aren't we? Right? We're we're not made. We're not really do do it. We, we are stupid. We are stupid doing this, right? And you know what? We we now think when when robots take when AI takes over the world, yeah, there'll be no nobody doing the jobs, right? Robots will take over. Yeah, they will. Robots will do everything. They'll be able to do parcels. To, Far, far away places, right? And there'll be no, no need for a person to sit at a desk here, a computer, or a factory desk making something. Right? It is, it is coming to thing as well, where AI, AI intelligence is taking over the world, right? Where you won't need someone in, a fa in an office somewhere, somewhere, taking, like, taking notes, all you need is someone programming that robot every day, yeah, to do a task, to do a task, and he will do that all day. What you program it, he won't need to be told again what he, what he, what we want it to do. He'll be doing that all day. He will as well. Robots, are, robots do what you tell them to do. You tell a robot to kill someone, he will do that on, on civic command. It would as well. A robot would do what you... If you program a robot to kill Boris Johnson, the robot will do that. Will kill Boris Johnson. It will as well. Not because it, it, it's, it thinks it can do that. It's been told to do that. Right? And it will do that. It will destroy, destroy humanity. Right? And it will, kill, it will kill Boris Johnson and anybody in its path. A robot would get so advanced here, yeah, he'd kill, he'd kill people, right? On telepathic command, so it'd be easier. So, so really, the, the virtual reality robot has lost it. So when going back to AI, AI intelligence, going back to uh, the virtual reality on on social media, I don't think we should do that. I think we should abort doing that. That makes our kids and our and our and our people more vulnerable to criminal, to criminals and cyber activity, where people nick your money, right? We shouldn't do that. We're not. We don't want to. We don't want to be doing that. Once we do that, yeah, we we lost all humanity with what's going on 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 this on on Earth on Earth it, on life itself and Earth. What's on? What's relevant to on this Earth? On this Earth as we know it today. I don't want to be talking to someone through virtual reality. I want to be talking to someone in this room having a conversation, like face to face, not talking to through virtual reality headsets or virtual reality Facebook. I don't want that. I don't. I don't see why we have to. Why we have to. Like, why do we have to do that? Do virtual reality to talk to someone. Send virtual livestock to someone. We're sending virtual animals on the social media. We're not. We lost all. We lost the plot. We've lost the plot somewhere. Right? What well, it is, yeah? People have lost the plot. I lost the plot a long time ago. I've lost the plot. We have. We lost it. We lost all humanity. We've lost the plot. 
Well, we we have really uh, lost all all momentum with life itself. Right, I feel very strongly with this subject. We lost lost humanity with life itself. Right, we we're, we're now talking more on Facebook than we was ten years ago when it first started. When Facebook first started, we're now we're now posting everything we do up on social media. One day I went to the loo. Who wants to know that? Who gives a damn what you did during the day? Oh, I had chips, beans and sausage. We won't we send you on social media. We are. All we do, yeah, is, oh, I've got a Facebook like, how many i got likes? Who gives, a, who gives two hoots what you've got, how many likes? Who gives two hoots? Right? This world... As as a uh, lost all lost its lost its get up and drive of talking to people, talking face to face to people. Right, we're all now tweeting and facebooking and instagramming and and uh, Bebo Bebo chatting people and and uh, WhatsApp people as well. We don't we don't talk to someone now. We WhatsApp the person. Look, Janet, I went down the shop. Yeah, I bought this. This, right? I'll send you a picture of it. Do you like this? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? What? What? What you bought down the shop? Once you've told everybody on social media, everybody else can fucking see it. Everybody else can see what you see what you bought. I don't know why we do this. This is the. the we slipped away from from life itself. We've gone, we've gone to, we've gone from Facebook now to virtual reality now, and the internet is a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place. The internet is a dangerous place, right? And it, Carol thinks she's going on my YouTube channel. That's a dangerous platform. YouTube it is a very dangerous platform. But right. what you post up on on your on on the YouTube channels, right? You're not really telling the full picture of what the what the product you're saying is all about. You're lying. You're only doing that yeah to safeguard the company, the company's reputation. If you say some phone is d dismal, then the company's going to get a bad result, a bad result, and they won't like that. They want good results on your phone. If they say this 8 inch phone Y Media Pad T380 Pro is a. Uh, oh, it's lovely. It's got a good camera. Oh it's, oh, it's wonderful. It's got a good battery. It's got a 1400 million power battery. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it lasts for a good long. Don't, don't give me all that. Don't give me all that baloney. I want to have the photo so I can see it myself. In this room, don't give me all that. Don't give me all that bluff, all that bluff. I want to see it myself. It's good. I don't want to know from a from from a from a tech reviewer's point of view of what of what the product's all about. I want to know for myself, my own experience. So I've handled it, my own experience yet to know it is crud and not very good. It's rubbish. And it's shite. We well, we should we should not. What we we're forcing we're we're forcing this phone onto someone. Yeah, we go. This phone's got uh no headphone jack. Hashtag bars. That's just whack. Hashtag bars. Uh balls. He's got no headphones. We're going while it's headphones. Does uh, Fossey Carter know that? We're going wireless, wireless headphones, wireless earbuds and wireless headphones. We don't want to be strapped to a phone by wire. We don't. This Hoover goes 90, has 90 running speed, 90 powers of running speed. You get ready go, oh, fuck, it's gone out of power. It's out of action. The juices run out. When you get wire in it, you plug it in the wall, that don't go out all the day, all the, all the long day then, it's still going. 
It's still going and hoovering up. Hoovering up. The vacuum cleaner with the wire goes all day. Goes all day. Goes all, goes all day then, doesn't it? So really, we're not telling the truth, are we? We're not telling the truth of what it's all about. We're not telling the truth. And say, say, say for instance, we buy this, this car, this, this car, this cosmetic product, right for your face. Oh, it's wonderful. It really mesm makes your face look mesmerizing. When you get home, yeah, you end up, you end up with rash, with a rash up your face. And what did you use? This product, this, uh, this, this cosmetic product, cosmetics product, uh, uh, someone said, this is lovely. It, it makes you look younger. What a load of old balls. Just go, just grow, grow old gracefully for God's sakes. For God's sakes. Don't worry about cosmetic, smearing cosmetics products up your, up your chops. And and all these and all these uh, face packs to make you look younger. We don't want that. We're going. We're going. Old. We're going to get old anyway. So what's the difference? We're getting old. What's the difference? We're going. I'm going off these cosmetic pro these these QVC programs because they're all basically for women. For women only. There's no blokes products on there. Like a blokes pair of steel toe boots. There's nothing to do with the blokes. It's all to do with women. It's all orientated round a woman. And I'm not knocking women. Right? If anybody thinks I'm knocking women, I'm not knocking them. Right? Granted, they're, they're beautiful subjects. Right? They're beautiful, they're beautiful specimens. Right? Lovely, lovely women themselves. I'm not knocking them, if anybody wants to know. Knocking, knocking ladies themselves. Knocking ladies, but QVC not not got the reality yet. Yeah? Do half and half, half men and half blokes, and half half blokes products, men's products, and half and half, half ladies. They ain't. They're not be they're not doing that, are they? So really, they're not doing 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 half and half, fifty fifty. Right, fifty of blokes products and fifty of girl of women's products. It's all split down. It's all down one side. It's all it's all one sided. It's all for bloke for women for women. So's the ideal world, and so's so's the uh, so's the shopping channels. All for all for women. It ain't for blokes. Blokes don't get a look in. Right, and I'm going to change humanity about this. Uh, this this can't carry on. This is stupid, right? The more the people people know not to do that in reality, right? They they it's all it should be you get 60 40, 60 50, like that. Yeah, it's half and half. You can't have all women, all women products all the time. Men are get really peed off, but they're not being recognised. In the cosmetics uh, department as well, well we're not being recognised. Men are not getting recognised more. We ain't. What do you think we do when we go when we go to the bathroom? Then just sit there and do nothing. What? Right? We're blokes for God's sakes. We have products as well that we have to use to make ourselves look younger. We do to make ourselves look younger in the industry. In the industry, we have to we have to uh, younger and body sprays and and that. I feel very strongly about this, and it's a topic I've been waiting to say for a long time. And it's so it's so frustrating where 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 blokes don't get recognised, where they don't get recognised for for who they are. We're blokes, right? We should get recognised as well. We should get recognised as well. Because these QVC programs are all basically for for the lady, for the the, the disconcerting lady, the up and coming lady, the the snobby lady, the one the ones that can afford this. I don't care what all they what they say. If you if you if you like if you're liking this video, a sub to this a sub to this channel would be nice. 
and a, a, a delicious sub to this channel would be nice. And a word and a like and a bell icon to this this subject that I've got on to. Lovely, isn't it? I'm, right, Stuart C. Trademark TV, signing off.